Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want everyone to freak out, but Detective Ando is back on the case. I'm officially back on the scene. I got a phone call the other day and they're like, Ando, do you want to try and take the bullet for the team? Do you want to try and solve a mystery that is shrouding this Pokemon booster box right here? And then I saw the box. It is none other than a Pokemon X and Y Evolutions. Now guys, I don't know how much you know about Evolutions, but basically it's the reprint of the base set that happened for the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. An extremely popular set because it does have the holographic reprint Charizard in a PSA 10 selling for around three and a half thousand Australian dollars. But more or less, that's not what we're looking for today. Today we actually got this booster box for about, I want to say, 75% of its normal price? Because no one wanted to buy this at full price, because apparently, the Pokeballs that go around here, the Pokeballs that go around here, just randomly stop and don't go around for the rest of the booster box. And a lot of people on a lot of different Facebook forums, a lot of like eBay comments, they've been saying that this box could potentially be fake, but, I know the person that sold this to me, um, I know when he bought it, which is right when the set came out, so this is like a first edition, one of the first print runs that happens. I'm pretty confident that this should be real, but no one wanted to buy it, so, got it at a discount, but there is a risk it could be fake, so we're gonna open it up, we're gonna try and find out, doesn't matter if the Pokeballs don't go all the way around, I think it's like a first print issue, but we'll have a look, and for an example, let me show you my other Evolution Booster Boxes for a comparison. Alrighty guys, so basically we're here in the collection room right now and I want to show you guys a couple of these Evolution Boxes and show you guys what I'm talking about when I say the wrapper goes all around the box right here. Okay, hopefully everyone's got their Detective Spy Cap on right now, but can you see how the Pokeballs on this are going all the way around the box and then they continue at the back? So if we swing it around right here, if we look at the back, the Pokeball wrapping is still going around. So you know that's like a legit Pokemon Evolutions X and Y booster box and the wrapping just keeps going around and it's the same with the other one that I have right here. So we got Pokeball, Pokeball and then it goes on the top and then it should go at the back. It does. And then does it go at the bottom? Yeah, it's on the bottom as well. Then if we go and compare it to the one that we got on the desk, there's nothing at all on the back but clear wrapping. And I think that's what makes everyone sauce. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm talking about. And also guys, I should mention today's video is actually made possible by the Legends NBA Top Shots. So stay tuned to a bit later in the video and I'll talk about exactly what they are. It is the coolest sponsor ever. All right, so as I mentioned, this right here, I've got a good feeling it should be a first print run sort of evolutions box, which leads me to think the ratio should be out of control. Um, it's not a reprint, so I'm really, really confident we might be able to get that three and a half thousand dollar PSA 10 Charizard. Uh, but I think first things first, before we start opening boosters and just getting into this booster box, we've got to really test out if this thing's real or fake. Um, and to be honest, I think I can't see this being fake. It would just be, like blow my mind. The seal is just too good. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but the feel of the seal is actually different compared to fake seals. So we did a fake video where I went shopping for fake Pokemon cards and the seal was like, it almost felt like it would give you a paper cut. And the official seal is a lot more soft, and you can sort of scratch off the Pokeball logo here. So as you can see, my finger has peeled off that sort of Pokeball right there. So it still doesn't, you know, but again, probably not something you want to go off. Front of the box, dimensions look exactly right. When you compare it to my other one, looks pretty spot on. Um, it's got a little cereal right here. Good sign. Um, we're going to pop this one out. Also, I'm going to try my best to be... Uh, looking for errors and commentating, so if I go silent for a bit, I'm really just trying to do some calculations, but it looks pretty good. The coloration also looks spot on. I mean, that does, like that looks alright, doesn't it? I reckon we've got a bit of a good box here, but we won't know until we open up a booster, so <sighs> I think this is fine, like look at that. It like The only argument is it's too perfect. This box is like you know what I mean? It's like, it's almost too perfect. The edges were too crispy. The booster packs seemed too blue. Um, yeah, I reckon this is okay. I reckon this is okay so far, but let's give it a go. Let's open it up and find out. That was a very easy open. 
The cards look pretty spot on. This doesn't look too fake. There is a code card. Well, there you guys go. Enter that one in, and uh, I'm going to say this is a real box because you should be able to unlock a few boosters. It is so rare that if you fake an evolutions back, like, I can get a fake one. They won't have the code card inside, let alone go to all this effort. So, three from the back being an X and Y booster pack. Here we go. All right, let's test the order. Let's see if the cards are in order. They feel really, on honestly, feels legit. Kakuna. Got a Slowbro Spirit Link. Got the Poliwag, Voltorb. God, I love evolutions. I gotta say, like, honestly, when I bought this for a discount, I was like, you know what? We're gonna open this in the channel. I was so excited because this is just the best set ever. Definitely demolish the like button if you love evolutions. Got a Tangler. Got a Switch Reverse. And a regular rare Farfetch'd with his monobrow right there. And the only thing I can say is like the yellow borders maybe are a bit lighter than normal. But besides that, this is a legit Pokemon card. And I'm so confident there is a way to do it. If you rip a Pokemon in half, you can actually see that there's two layers building up a Pokemon card. And that's another good way to test out if it's real or fake. But honestly, um, I'm super confident in saying that this is 100% real. Uh, I'm not going to rip it because if I ripped it, I'd cry myself to sleep to be honest. Uh, knowing that I ripped a real Pokemon card, and especially being Evolutions, a set that, like, everyone wants to get their hands on, you don't want to be that guy that, I don't know, was extra cautious. Ah, uh, see, the energies are weird. It's a weird set. That energy would throw me off, but I still think, I'm still really confident. I want to see, there we go, look at that, Doduo, then a Doduo Reverse. Oh my goodness, Beedrill shows his mug already! I mean, oh. Okay, you know what? Maybe I will rip this one if it comes down to it. We'll put this in a potential rip pile if I start to get a bit fishy about this box. Let's go for a Venusaur. But as I said, I want to see a holographic card. That'll be another big telltale sign. Um, we haven't got one yet. And there's also full art Charizard you can pull in this set, which would be absolutely amazing. It's like a $350 card once you grade it. Charizard Spirit Link. Charmeleon, always a good sign. Could it lead to a potential... Base set Charizard. And I need another base set. Oh, Pikachu as well! Also wouldn't mind a cigarette Pikachu. These energies are weird as. Charmander. Surely this is the pack. De-evolution spray reverse. And there we go! None other than a Mega Blastoise EX. And if you had any doubt at all, if you were literally doubting my boy, look at this. Oh my god. Okay, look at this. Dead set has to be real. But trust me, I have opened fake Pokemon cards like Pokemon openings are my job for the past like 10 years of my life. They don't make them this good. This has to be a real box. And honestly, little Tim Tam, whoa, this is insane. On the first, what, three or four boosters right now, we pulled a Mega Blastoise EX full of card. We got Hydro Bombard with 120. Trust me, this set is undeniably one of the best ever. If you can find a box for a discount, it's worth it. I took the gamble today and I am so happy it paid off. We've got a Mega Blastoise EX full of card. Holy smokes, this is awesome. Oh, okay. Let's put this one in the back. That is just such a good one. I remember getting that on my first ever Evolutions box I opened on the channel, like period. Um, that was such a fun one. Gosh! I was gonna say, the best way to tell if your box is fake or not, get a full-on card. They're so hard to replicate. You could feel the texture on that card as well. Okay, Nidorino, got a switch. There we go. Blastoise again. Magnemite. Ghastly. Can we get a hollow? Voltorb. And then, uh, Electrode. I don't know if anyone's ever noticed this, but Electrode's got a dent in his head. Like, legit. Someone tweeted me the other day, like, does Electrode was dented? And I think he was. I don't know what the deal is. It's almost like he was a ping pong ball, and, uh, someone just dented him in the forehead. Anyway, let's put this to the side. I'm interested to know, like, I think by the end of the box, we'll work out what the ratio is. Another good one with fake cards is usually they overextend a ratio, so... Yeah, that's fine. The energies are the only thing that maybe I've got, I'm have got. i a bit fishy with, but... I, it's just like, it'd be way too hard to 
Look at that. It'd be way too hard to fake this box at the level it's doing it at. That full out card was spot on. Oh my goodness, break cards also. Okay, nine tails break, and then right behind it, that regular rare non-holographic Mew. And I know what you're thinking, Endo, why does Mewtwo not have a holo card? It was weird, but we're evolutions. The only holo Mewtwo was in the theme decks. So that's why there's like resale value on the theme decks, and there is break cards in the set. Look at that Disco Ball. Okay, Ninetales. I don't know what they resell for now, because Evolutions is so expensive, but I remember opening the set up. Those bad boys were only selling for like $1.50. Like it was cheaper to uh, sell your commons and uncommons out of Evolutions before you sold your break cards. They just never took off. Oh, snap! Okay, Secret Rare, Flying Pikachu. 110 out of 108. Dead set, it's a real box, ladies and gentlemen. I'm calling it official on the sleeve stamp of approval. If something crazy happens later in the box that says it's fake, I would be literally gobsmacked. And I think we have the world's best, but I gotta say, whoever passed on buying this for cheap, unlucky. Okay, Flying Pikachu, got the Haunter, Maintenance, Diglett. Now we just gotta pray for a Charizard. Cause if I can get a holographic Charizard or a reverse, I've made my money back. Gasly. Oh snap! Okay! Reverse fire type! Followed up by Oh Pidgeot EX! That is a staple! Yo, I love this in the full card as well. Okay, Pidgeot EX. Do you gotta love your official Kanto Rolodex right here? Just such good selections of Pokemon. I love every single card they popped into the set, and it's honestly the most fun I have opening Pokemon cards. This just brings back so much nostalgia. It's so exciting opening up an Evolutions box, like honestly, let's keep it going. Okay, come on, we haven't got a holo card yet. Really praying for a decent one, or I don't know, something that looks good from the base set. What's your favorite Evolutions card? Let me know in the comments right now. If you had to pick one, Porygon, which one would it be? Magic up, there's so many. Seal, got the Poliwag. It's like we're opening base set without the price tag. Voltor, Porygon as well! <laughs> Every time! Guys, when you see the red, and it looks like it's gonna be something here, you always think Charizard, but you forget about your boy Arcanine. He just shows up every single time. He's a bit of a troll like that. Okay, I wonder if we'll see our uh, Electabuzz regular rare in Evolutions. Oh, the bad memories, getting the Electabuzz out of the Logan Paul opening. Okay, Professor's Oak. Then we got Metapod, Vulpix. Oh, there he is! That's so classic! You talk about him, he shows up. It's classic he's not a regular rare in this set like he was in the base set. I'm going to put it to the side, though. I think that's very special. Might go into my grading pile, because I'd love to have him right next to my Logan Paul one. That's funny. The 2016 reprint of Pure Depression. Okay, there's your uh, code card. So, it being a real box, I really do believe those codes are going to be able to cash in, too. So let me know where you get in the code cards, I'd be just as curious. Doduo, Caterpie, Drowsy, Diglett. Got a Charmander. It's always good Simon Charmander's in there. And a Holo Zapdos! Yeah, okay, this Holo looks really spot on as well. I've got no issues at all. I honestly think the Holo was the last straw for me. I just wanted to make sure that when I got a Holo that there was nothing really sus with this. But as you can see, the Holo pattern is spot on. Um, fake Pokemon cards will do some gnarly ass patterns that are never legit. But this is the same pattern that's on every evolution. We've now pulled an EX, a break, a uh, full art card, and we've got a gorgeous looking holo and a secret rare flying Pikachu. So I'm pretty pleased with that. We've got the whole Rolodex, very, very real box. And before we crack on with the rest, let's have a message from today's sponsor, NBA Top Shots. So yeah, guys, today's video is sponsored by none other than NBA Top Shots, one of the coolest sponsors we've ever had on the channel. And guys, if you don't know what they are, basically, it's the future of collectibles that's right here. And it's something that I am so passionate about, and I've already actually opened a whole bunch of boosters. So when they reached out, I was freaking out to say the least. Now guys, if you don't know what NBA Top Shots are, basically it's like an online booster that's licensed and endorsed by the NBA. So what you do is you get your online Top Shots sort of booster pack, you open it up, and inside are moments. And if you don't know what these moments are, they're basically just cool things that have happened in NBA games. Whether it be like three-pointers, slam dunks, um, it could be literally anything you sort of think of that's a cool moment. That is, crafted into its own video clip, 
put into the booster, and if you pull it, you own it. And I know what you're thinking, you're like, Ando, what the heck? Why would I want to own a uh, NBA basketball clip when I can watch it on YouTube? Basically, it's the same thing with trading cards. Why would you want to own a Charizard when you can just sort of print it out and, and say you own it? Well, well that's, that's not real. The, the Charizard that you got out of the booster... That's the real card. The same goes with NBA Top Shots, is when you get that moment, it's officially licensed by the NBA and you own that moment. And only you and a few other people, depending on how rare that is, actually own that as well. So it's so sick and definitely the future. Because this moment as well, it can't get lost. There's no storage issues. You're not going to break it in half, spill your coffee on it. It's always stored online. So it's always going to be in minty fresh condition. Now what I recommend to everyone getting into NBA Top Shots is always start with the sort of starter pack base set, which when you open it up has three moments inside. These are probably one of my favorites because you can get a superstar moment like LeBron James, or you get a really popular one like LaMelo Ball at the moment. Alrighty guys, is everybody ready? We're about to open up a base set series two, release number 41, booster pack right here. So let's open up our pack. I'm so excited. Let's hope for... All right, okay, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't want to jinx it. So we got three right here. The beat is going off. We got number one. It's a common. Oh, what is this? What is he doing? Okay, all right. Not bad. It's. I feel like it's a, it's a solid one. The Denver Nuggets. Oh, it's a game that they lost as well to the Sacramento Kings. But that's okay. So that's a common right there. And looks like there's a whole bunch of them as well. So let's reveal the next one. It's another common. It's a three-pointer though. Harrison. Oh, there we go. Check this out. Boom. Hits the three-pointer. And they won the game as well. But that's another common. we got to go for something crazier. And there's a whole stack of them too. It's another common, but this one's a dunk. So that's not too bad. How is that a common that's actually a really good shot? Look at that. Now, guys, if you've got a particular moment in mind that you absolutely want to own or you're like, that was a cool time, you can actually search it up on the marketplace and someone might have pulled it and listed it right here. So if you're a fan of LeBron, um, you can click right there, filters everything and shows you some of the LeBron moments. So you get a $100 one, $30 one. Let's click on the $30 one. Let's see what this one is. It's still a common pull, but it's still... Oh my, that's pretty sick. He flung it across the court. Look at that. Now, say this is actually a moment that you want to buy, go to the description, type in my referral code because there's a $50 reimbursement. So say you buy a $30 moment right here, you'll get a $30 cash back. And say you buy a $2 moment, you'll get a $2 cash back up to 50 bucks. So if you buy a $50 moment, you'll get a $50 cash back. So there is no excuses, guys. Literally, click my, uh, click my code and link down in the description. Sign up to NBA Top Shots, give it a go, it is so much fun. Alrighty guys, we are officially back with one of the most exciting openings I reckon I've done on the channel in a hot minute. We're going to just crack open this entire box. I think in my head, the way that I look at it, I got it for cheap. I was going to open it anyway because it was unsellable. Apparently too many people were questioning about the Pokeballs. But I kind of knew like, the guy who sold it to me, I knew he bought it right when the set sort of came out. So... In my head, I was sort of like, okay, maybe it's something they just did or they rushed the prints out on the first lot. This is classic. Reverse Electabuzz. I'll take it. Regular Red Dugong. So yeah, I wasn't tripping too hard, but it was classic the amount of hate or, I don't know, people that weren't 100% on board with this box. And I get it. Because it's so expensive, I think this would have had to be an over a $1,000 listing. You, oh, there we go. Secret rare right there. I love this card, guys. I don't know if it's the hand-drawn artwork. I don't know what it is, but something about the attacks down here and all that. Jeez, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, another secret rare we can add to the bank. You know, like, the secret rares, if it was a fake box, I feel like would have been stuffed up. They would have been added in a bit too much or not added in at all. Got the yellow cheeks Pikachu. So with the ratios, actually not too bad. Drowsy, got the Magnemite Reverse, and a regular rare Raticate. The ratios are spot on. But yeah, I think I think everyone deserves to be skeptical of a box that's over $1,000 because with all the fake stuff that, that, that's been like going around at the moment, and especially with the base set, I don't know if you guys follow too much of the vintage news, but there has been fake like proper first edition boxes going around and replicas getting made up. I think it's like not so much for the evolution sets because with the evolutions boxes, it's more of a modern day thing and that's for like the modern day fakers and the modern day fakers, they suck. Oh, sugar! That is a hit! Oh, yes! No way! 
And another reason I was so keen on opening today, it's because like, the ratios on our first print box are bananas. Like, you're gonna get some bangers because they wanted to promote the set. A Mew Holo card! Oh, this recap. Skip to the recap if you want to see something crazy. But if you want to stay on this journey with me, guys, I appreciate it so much. Mew Holo card. Wow, Evolutions is something else, guys. Gosh, that, I'm sorry, that artwork is unparalleled. And I thought Secret Rare Executor was good. Alright, got a Venusaur art right now. Still haven't got the uh, Charizard, but you know what's so funny? Is usually when you open up, I get some modern set. You're just fixated. You're like, all I want is Charizard, and bang, 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 every booster. Oh, okay! Double up on the Secret Rare, that's interesting. I'll put that in the back, we just pulled that, but I'll come back to it on the recap. Two Secret Rares, one box. Interesting. Okay, Pikachu reverse and eradicate as the regular rare. I've got my reverse pile that I want to keep right here. I might put that in the recap, I don't know. Sorry, this is like in my head, just doing my thing. Okay, this is actually, uh, this is a fascinating one. But as I was saying, I think when you open modern sets, you're always after the chase card and nothing else. But you know Evolutions is good, and I think this is what gave it away in like, it's a set everyone wants to collect for an investment purpose. When you open this box, you're genuinely pleased with anything you get. So I could get a fuller card, I'd be just as happy with a Charizard Reverse. As well as a Charizard. Oh, as the holo card. Dude, who thought that? Who thought that that was going to be the Charizard? I saw the red and I was like, dude, this can't be the pack. Arcanine, he's playing with me again. Okay, we're on the final couple of boosters, and then we're officially more than halfway through this thing right here. Which is kind of sad, I wish we could open evolutions like every single day on the channel. But that's probably how Ando goes broke. You imagine telling your accountant that you open an evolutions box for 365 days? At a thousand bucks each, it's almost a brand new Lamborghini per year. Oh snap! It's the Charizard EX right here! Okay, we're getting everything. Charizard EX, Secret Rares, Break Cards, EXs, Full Art Mega Blast toys right there. Charizard EX, Golden Border. Yeesh. That does look good. Combustion Blast with 150. Wing Attack with 60. What a gorgeous... It's kind of like a realistic Charizard EX card, isn't it? Epic. Okay. Charizard EX, you go at the back, looking awesome as anything. Fire breathing. Put you to the side. Three to go. And then all down to the final left-hand side. What do you reckon? Is it possible? Look at- I love that. It's so much nostalgia. That Haunter. Rattata, is it possible to get that Charizard? Ghastly, Caterpie, Electric, Tangela. I'm guessing like surely we'll be able to get it as a reverse if we don't get it as a holo. But I'd love to show you guys. So far, I think every... I reckon every Evolutions box minus one I've opened on the channel. I've opened like four, maybe? Or five? I've always pulled the Charizard. Whether it be reverse or holo form. So I'm pretty confident I can do it again. We just gotta really believe in the heart of the cards. Yes, I told you! I fucking told you! Ladies and gentlemen, get in, son! Yes! Oh, come on! That's so good! I told you! Can we go for the double hitter? You imagine if the hollow's behind it? Oh, yes! This one's really miscut. Look how thin that is and big that is. But who cares? We pulled Charizard! People pay like 200 bucks for this reverse sometimes. Dude! <laughs> I'm so happy! We did- we haven't even opened the other side! I- I knew it. I- such an early print run, guys. They're the types of evolution boxes you want. Not the newer ones because they weeded out the Charizards. These early ones. Look at the recap we've got as well. For half of a box. <sighs> I'm gonna calm down. That is awesome! Oh, that's made my whole week, guys! I'm so happy about that, honestly, like... Ah, oh, there is no feeling in the whole world when you open Pokemon cards and you pull a Charizard. We pulled the reverse! I wonder if it's possible to double up on a Charizard reverse in one box, do you think? Let's open up this and then I'll go get my chair, I'll clear all uh, this stuff up. Oh my god, okay. Let's, uh... Keep it going. 
And I suppose now we just go for the hollow or some sort of weird error where it doubles up on the Charizard. But dude, that's so good. Diglett, Gastly, Caterpie. I want to send it off to get graded. I can put it with my Daniel Arsham statue. Oh, that's so good. We end up with a Polyrath holo card. Look at that awesome holo pattern behind him. I don't know, Polyrath was never my favorite Pokemon. Something about him scares me a little bit. What do you think? Does anyone love Polyrath? Because I feel like Poliwag's got a few fans. I don't know about my main man right here. Anyway, let me clear all this up. Get the chair at the back. RIP, that man needs a new job. But let's get into the next half. Alrighty, guys. Ando's back with the chair right now. Let's see if we can't throw this thing out the window by the end of today's video by getting a stupidly good poll. I don't even care what else we get. Look at that. It's Toasty Man himself, Electabuzz. I hope you guys are getting good Charizards out of those code cards at least. And speaking of the Charizard, there he is. He's egging us along. And look at this! Charmeleon. <sighs> Could this be it? Could this be? It's just like, that's the nail in the coffin though, isn't it? Getting that final hollow. Could you... Oh, sorry. An unlisted leaf energy. That would be good. I'm going to put that in the save pile. Diglett. And then a dented in the head table tennis ball known as Electrode. Okay, I know you're not going to be able to unsee it now because I can't either. Every time I see him, I just see a big giant dent. The reef in the back? I'm so happy that this isn't fake. I couldn't even imagine opening this and you're like, oh no. There's just like, I don't rocks in here or something. Because I think when you go really vintage, like base set first edition, sometimes they stuff it with tissue paper, like heaps of it to weigh it down so you think it's real. That would probably be the most sad thing, but I know with modern, because you can actually see inside of the box when you look at it, they have to put actual boosters in there, so no matter what, we'll get in packs and cards. It was a matter of like how fake they are and how can we tell, but I'm really, I was like super confident already before I even bought the box, and then it was just like a little bit like, why is the Pokeballs not going around, but I just think it's a thing that happened on the first print run, I was quite confident. Magma, that's awesome! And a Clefairy! Yes, another holo to add to the uh, chain at the back there. Classic R.I.P. fairy types. Metronome and Sing. What a gorgeous pattern though, isn't it? Gosh, I don't know. I could go on about this set all day, guys. I hope the 25th anniversary, like, I don't know what it is, but... I hope for the 25th anniversary we get something like this. I don't know if they're going to reprint the Neo, which is like uh, Master Quest, you know, the second season of the anime. But I would take something like this any day of the week. Base set 2.0. Charmeleon Reverse. And then... That regular rare Mewtwo is going to do us nasty, isn't he? He's just teasing me that there's a holo version of him in the theme deck. That's alright, buddy. I forgive you. Let's put this one to the side. Charmeleon Reverse. And then falling up with a Zard would have been bonkers. But gorgeous card though, and the fact that we got a reverse Charmeleon to go with our reverse Charizard, probably should put him at the back. He's in my good pile, but I'll put him at the back. Actually, that's a nice pull. Three from the back, and let's go for a full heal right now. Then we got a Porygon, Spirit Link, Diglett, Charmanza, Seal. What's this? It's a break card. It's a Machamp break card. Yeah, nice. I forget these are in the set. This is a card that you don't generally look at. Look at that. Look at that toasty fire type. Yeah, these break cards, something that are just fun addition. You don't really look at them as chase cards or something you're dying to get, but they're fun that they're in there. Machamp break. You go at the back as well. We're on the final lot. I want to say it's like 10, 12 boosters. And I want to say that, look, it's a sealed box. The ratio is there. I am still confident. I do still think there's like some big hitters in there. I don't know if it's another fuller card. Or if it's an expensive holo, but we'll see. Potion. Got the Kakuna. Tangle. Three unlisted leaf Pokemons in a row. Ghastly. Magic up. Here we go. Nidoran. And there we go. Mewtwo EX on top of that. There has to be some huge hitters, guys. Like, honestly, the recap is massive, but it's massive from the right-hand side. We're still looking at big hits on the left-hand side easily. And, of course, it's going to be Mewtwo EX right there. Looks a lot more computer generated than I remember. Gosh, so cool with these gold borders. They really make the cards. Alright, Mewtwo EX. You're amazing. 
The fact we're back at EX days as well. Oh man, it's good. It feels good to open a 20th anniversary product on the 25th birthday. So there you guys go. Those code cards look like they're slowly getting better. I know the first lot, like the print lines through them were crazy. So it looks like the printer ran out of ink to start this box off or on the uh, right hand side and the left hand side had more ink in the printer. Ghastly, Farfetch'd Reverse! Starmie, hitting us with the regular rare. Every pack we do now, guys, is little and little getting closer to the end of the box. We've got Potion. Anyone else, like, low-key kind of nervous? Because I'm terrified. I don't know if you can tell or not. Ponida, Tangle. I'm so invested in this box today. We've got a March Shop Reverse with that Sand Shrew. And another Dog Trio. There is quite a few double ups in the regular rares. I have noticed. How big is the set? 108 cards. It's that's decent. I would take that. I'll take that any day of the week. Honestly, it's not too crazy like some of the sets nowadays, Cosmic Eclipse or whatever. But it's not like you know, it's not like a Japanese set that has 55 cards and you feel like you've completed half the box once you got halfway through the booster box. So this is the perfect amount. Oh, Gyarados! I will definitely take a Gyarados! No way! Awesome! Another Holy Card we can add to it. Bubble Beam and Dragon Rage. 180! Oh, I feel like we've got everything, guys. It has to be- the Zard's got to be in here. We've got nearly every hit under the sun out of this thing. Okay, this one, it's got a massive chomp line right here where it got printed in the factory. So let's open this up. This would have been a good one to have at a news agency, or like, if this one was at Walmart on display, this would have been a great box to just pick boosters out from, because there's so many hits inside. De-evolution spray, March up, got the Pikachu, Dozuo, what do you think, little Tim Tam, Caterpie, Drowsy, hmm, another far-fetched, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh snap. It's a Charmander. Okay, there you guys go. Let's go three. And we've got a Metapod right now. Metapod. Classic Metapod. <laughs> That's all I remember when uh, he just kept saying his name. Metapod. Okay. Charmander. Star you. Do duo. You ready? Reverse Haunter with the Ponita. It's another evil looking red eyed Beedrew himself. Put you to the side. Let's keep going. Every single pack, guys. Everything's counting right now, and I love the fact I can't even see the code guard, so it doesn't matter. Solid green, white and green, who cares? Although, apparently in the newer sets, the code cards don't matter as much. I think I took two cards out of the pack right there. Fighting type, magic up. Got the sand true, metapod reverse. Another star me. Oh my goodness me, guys. This box has never stressed me out more. There you guys go. What do you think? Ladies and gentlemen, leave your predictions down below. I reckon there's got to be something else. There's like five more packs, guys. Nidorino, Rattata, got the Diglett, Ghastly, Caterpie. Here we go. Magikarp Reverse. And we've basically got all three. Charizard, Blastoise, and Mega Venusaur right now. This has been a party. This has been an epic box right here. Oh, snap. You gotta have the Mega Venusaur EX right there. Oh, Crisis Vine 120. I love the mix of newer and older cards all in one. EXs, old school base set hollows, break cards. It's like the coolest free for all ever, and uh, I think it just really does make the set. The artwork on every card is just spot on. What I'm excited about, what I want to collect and display in the binder. Okay, let's be uh, select for one what Pokemon we're taking out of the booster box right here. Open him up, get the doors off. Okay, you to the side. There's the Goat Guard. And let's keep it rolling. I know we got an EX, but I do think there's something else in here. Just keep in mind how crazy the right hand side was, guys. Onyx, Growlithe, Machop. And it's not just the Zard I need. There are so many cards in this set that would be awesome. But all that we're pulling are like regular rare Farfetch'd, regular rare Starmies, Electrodes with dents in the head. There you guys go. Is it the final three? Oh no, it's the final three packs after this. Magma. Enjoy every card. Star you. Magikarp. Onyx. Sandshrew. 
Charizard, Spirit Link, and we're going to get another EX Ball. This time it's slow, bro. It is not coming down, even at the end of the box. This has been a ridiculous one. This has been a crazy booster box. Let's keep it going. Slow, bro, EX card. Charizard. Third to last pack. Unlisted Leaf greets us, which is just the best sign ever. If you want good luck, you need that to happen. Get the Machoke. Double Colorless. Charizard Spirit Leaf. Spirit Link, not Leaf. Unlisted Leaf energy. Got an Onyx. Growlithe. Coughing Reverse. Oh, go away! We get three B drills. Yet we don't get a single double up on the Charizard Reverse or Hollow. There's the Raichu. This is the second. Whoa, that was a clean one. And that booster wrapper sort of just flew open. Second to last pack. There you guys go. You got goosebumps? Because I definitely do. Energy retrieval. Kakuna. This recap's going to go off. Growlithe Pikachu. Oh, oh, Charmander. Reverse unlisted leaf. And then... Dugong regular rare, the final one out of this not definitely not fake at all, completely real, evolutions booster box for this century. I'm going to send all these cards off to get PSA graded as well. I think there's about three, yeah there's about three cards in here that I'm looking at getting sent off. Definitely the Charizard though, that is awesome. Spirit Link, can we make it four though? I want to get those Electabuzz sent off for the lols of my collection as well. Weedle, Rattata, got the Tangela. Oh, I thought it was a, I thought it was a Zard double up, and then, oh, ladies and gentlemen, no way, no flipping way. Do I knew it? I knew it. I was like, no way. Are we gonna like? Who cares that we didn't get the Hollow Zard? We got the Reverse, and then a full up Mega Charizard EX. To complement the full art blast toys that we got on the final pack. Done. I am literally completely finuted. That is the best thing I've seen in my entire life. Holy smokes. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that opening because there is honestly nothing like that in the channel. That was oh, that was so good. I have no words. I'm speechless. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Look at the chunk of the recap today. That is all out of one booster box and all of the amazing hits that we end up getting. I think this box is so fantastic because even in the reverse slot, you could win so greatly and that's exactly what happened here today. And even without the reverse slot, the regular rares, the hollows, the EXs are unbelievable. And on top of that, I think we had a double win today because this box wasn't fake. It was all real. And oh, I'm so happy with everything and how it turned out. This has honestly been one of the best openings in recent memory, but reverse Charmeleon right there. Got a bunch of these secret rares, but I think in terms of how many there are per box and per booster case, it's a free-for-all. You might double up like we did in the Executor, but you might just get one flying Pikachu. It doesn't like, you know, it doesn't really make much sense, but I'll take it. Flying Pikachu, two Executors, and then Machamp Break Guard, Nine Tails Break Guard, and then we get into the EXs. And even these didn't let us down. Mewtwo EX, Hidgeot EX, got the slow bro, and then Gold Boarded, Charizard EX. But hold on to your pencil, Tim Tam, because that's not where it peaks. Then we got the Mega Blastoise EX. Crisis Vine with 120. And this is where it just gets even gnarlier. Base set, holo cards. I'm talking to Zapdos. I'm talking the most beautiful looking Mew card of all time. Then we got the Polyrath. The Clefairy. Got the Gyarados on top of that. This is all out of one box. And then we go and get the Full Arts. So the Mega Blast Toys EX Full Art card with the golden border. All this like sort of, it's almost like the ocean, like a wave crashing around him. Ridiculous Pokemon card, undeniable texture. The only thing better than getting that would be getting the Mega Charizard full art card right there. The EX Bangarooski himself. And the only thing better than getting a full art Charizard, guys. It's getting the original reverse. We've won. 
Thank you so much to NBA Top Shots for sponsoring today's video. Thank you so much for you at home for watching it. Demolish a like button if you love evolutions. You want me to open up another box? I would do it because it's just like so much fun at this point. But most of all, I hope you enjoyed and keep on gaming. Until the next video, just yeah, ah, keep on those Charizards. This is insane. <laughs>